a professional network. Do you know what that is and do you know why it's important? Networking is pretty basic. It's just getting to know people and letting them get to know you. And while it might seem simple, networking is also powerful. Mary Angela Baker is the director of the Center for Extended Lifelong Learning at Salisbury University. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. It's great to see you. Now, um, Mary, building a professional network is pretty simple, right? It is pretty simple, um, but it takes work. So the, the whole idea behind building a professional network is to intentionally be out meeting new people, building relationships, learning about them, and letting them learn about you. Okay. So how is a professional network different than my group of friends? Your group of friends. So your professional network are those that help you advance your career and help you um, in, and enhance your career. Mm -hmm. So for example, your professional network would be someone that you could go to um, and say, I'm starting a new project at work. Example, I'm starting online learning professional development at work and I've gone within Salisbury University to find someone who's a contact who can help me with that. She then introduced me to another person that on campus who is uh, an expert on this. I'm also doing with work with my national association, and I've met people at the national association who, again, are experts on online learning. So your network expands. So my network extends. Mm -hmm. So what are some ways that we can meet people outside of our network? So often we think that the best way to, to network is to just go to an event with our business cards and start handing them out. But really, there are a lot of different ways, and what you want to do is you want to have a network that is diverse and that you have shared passions because that's really where you want to be. So for example, you can volunteer for an environmental nonprofit mm -hmm. and meet people that way. And, and a great resource for, for volunteering is through the United Way here in Salisbury. Hmm. You can be active in your um, community of faith, which could be being part of a prayer group. It could even be starting a bridge club within your um, church or where, where you practice your faith. You can be active in your children's activities and get to know other parents where your children are. So there's lots of different ways that you can reach out to people. What, what if what if you're just shy enough that you hate walking into a group of people and start handing out your business card? And that is absolutely brutal. I think that walking into a room with people is, is really hard for me. For yeah. other people, um, they love it. They walk in and say, look at all these folks I don't know. <laughs> the easiest thing, go with a friend. Go with a colleague. So you don't have to do it alone. And that's part about networking. So we always think, oh my God, I'm out there, I'm all by myself, and I don't know anyone, and this is really hard. But go with a friend. Have them introduce you to someone. Okay, and what about paying it forward in regards yeah. to networking? So people think that networking and, and building a network is all about me. I'm going to have my network to help me advance my career. The best networks are those that help other people. So for example, I was at a networking lunch, met a young woman who's a photographer, and said, I just met on campus a woman that moved here um, within the last year. She's also a professional photographer. Can I connect you? so that she would have a colleague that she, um, you know, both of them being new to the area and didn't know any people. So making connections for others is really what it's all about. And it makes you feel good, it helps them ad advance their career, you get to know them a little bit better through that process. You didn't get anything out of that particular introduction, but somewhere down the road. Somewhere down the road, um, and just the, I got the satisfaction of knowing that they're connecting and, and it's helping them. Right. Yeah. Mary Angela Baker with the Center for Extended Thank and you. Lifelong Learning at Salisbury University. Thank Alrighty. you so very much for Thank joining you. us this afternoon. Thank you. Some All good right. stuff right there.